Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Brian with you from the Game Covenant. We are playing some more battle tech. So we are in our priority mission. We need to control at least one storage silo, which should be easy. Uh, they're suggesting we go for three. I think we're gonna go for Charlie first. I didn't do any research or anything like that in between episodes. So uh, if you're expecting someone more knowledgeable in this mission right now, that's not me. But we're gonna go move out. We might be able to just go over this little hill with everyone that has jump jets, which is you. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Grasshopper can definitely make it up that hill. You have really crappy Got it. jump jets, so I don't know. Decker doesn't have jump jets, so we might just want to walk all the way around then. But, okay, so our plan is to work on this first silo and then move north and then probably to the one in the west. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind, I don't know how long this uh, mission's gonna be, um, but I may have to split this into two episodes. I am cooking tonight, so I need to not spend all night uh, playing video games. So we're just gonna see uh, how long it goes. If it's like 30, 35 minutes, that'll be fine. If it's gonna be like an hour and 10 minute episode, yeah, that's when we're probably gonna need to split into double episodes. Uh, we got radiation damage. What did the radiation do? Plus 10 heat. I missed that. Hmm. Was that Decker? Good to go. Was that Behemoth? That was Behemoth. Eject. Yeah, let's not hit the eject button. Uh, radiation. It will gain 10 heat on its next activation. Yeah, all right. Glitch, we gotta move you first. This is radiation right here, yeah. Eh, I just missed that. Where is the silo? It's right there, so we're getting close to enemies. So, let's do something like this, because it's gonna give us four. Uh -huh. Ready for order. Let's get Behemoth up here. Hey, Commander, I've got something on my sensors. Dude, really? Seriously? You're bringing a 40-ton mech at me? Seriously, you're bringing a 40-ton mech at me right now. <laughs> really? A 40-ton mech? Do you... I... Okay. This is going to be ridiculous. Uh, Decker can probably one-hit this dude. He didn't even move. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I should move you out. Just get at least a little bit of evasion. Yeah, we can get a double... Uh, evasion on this and we're gonna sensor lock the crap out of this I sure hope to god this mission has a little more difficulty than this 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 dude is about to get murdered into another lifetime um, Receiving you. now the only concern is he is guarded we do let's see 25 50 75 we only do 100 damage so we can't one hit you Child, uh, sir, Silo Charlie's under attack alert. Take it quickly before they have time to destroy it. Okay. I mean, so once I start shooting at them, I gotcha. So once I start shooting at them, then they're gonna start uh, shooting at the silo. Now, is this gonna be like the last mission? Is this going to be like the last mission where as long as I hit them once, they're not going to shoot at me? Getting close, Commander. Be careful with your positioning. If they pick up a visual on you, they'll go on high alert. I'm very That's aware of what's happening here. So, we actually might kill his PPC right here with this. Because he's guarded, he's not going to get knocked over, which is very disappointing. However, I do get to go before both of them. Okay, so a little harder than I was giving it credit for. I should have moved a little closer just so I can hit them with the uh, AC-20s uh, to really um, basically ruin his day. This should blow up his left side, I'm hoping. Oh, we got the exposure and the unsteady. He will move. They also have a vehicle. Are they gonna go for me or are they gonna shoot the silo? I want them to go for me. Yeah, it looks like they're going for me. Come around the corner. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Okay. Yeah, you dead. Let's just put it out here. Mmm. You do have four evasive. 65%.
I'm debating right now. Commander. I'm debating about how I want to do this. So I have two options right now. We sensor lock him to get him down to two evasion with glitch. And then we hit him. Here's the other thing. I can just move Behemoth forward. And then just murder your life. <laughs> Probably better option. Yeah, let's go ahead and sensor lock you. Let's get uh, some evasion going. He will get to shoot at me, but I'll get to go at him before he goes at me. This will also allow me to see this mech, so then if I do kill this other mech with Grasshopper and or Decker, I can shoot the other guy. You also only have one HP, or one, but you are guarded. I could AC-20 his chest. You know what? Screw it. it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What was that? Like an 80% chance we just missed? Dang it. All right, that was a bad idea. Here was my thinking. We had, um, we were going to pretty much murder this guy because we're shooting so many missiles. Locked on target. So I thought we might as well take the AC-20 shot at the other guy. Downside is, this kind of puts us in a bit of an awkward spot. I think I'm gonna run back. Because now we didn't uh, hit anyone. Yeah, we didn't do damage to either of these guys. Or, uh, rather, we didn't do damage at the AC-20. Um, and then we also didn't remove his evasion, so that means I did a heck of a lot less damage than I wanted to. I think we're going to move you up here. I think I'm going to Vigilance because you're smack dab in the front of everyone, which is going to give me the guarded stance. And then I think we're going to murder you. I think we just shoot. Taking the shot. We should do enough damage here to probably blow up some of his weaponry. Yeah, that was the PPC, I think. Okay. And then we will come forward and probably finish the job. I also have my morale high enough, I can probably one hit him. Yeah, I can. So let's precision strike you. And we're in the chest, and he should be dead now. Boom. How did that kill him? Okay. Pilot injured. Pilot injured. So we actually got the injuries. It looks like we didn't actually destroy the center torso. We actually got the injuries out of that. Um, a little too much resources uh, spent on that guy, but not into the world. Oh, they have another mech. They have a 35-ton mech. Ah, crap. The dog wants to leave. It's just dad. Ugh. One sec. So, I'm in my mom's office recording the last few days because my brother was here, and the dog normally sleeps in here anytime my mom leaves because she, you know, loves my mom and only cares about my mom and is missing her and cries, you know, while she's gone and that kind of thing. Uh, so, she's just sitting here waiting. Um, I think I need to move forward. And we'll grab the three evasion. So, anyways, she's been sitting here, and I've been laying her in the office while I've been recording, but the problem is when, you know... Uh, she hears anyone come through the door, uh, then she's like, oh, who is it? I want to go see them kind of thing. So, let's see. We might want to just kill this Jenner with the evasive. He's guarded. He only has... Eh, see, now she just pushed her way back in because it didn't close the door. Uh, dog. <laughs> we can't really do stability damage to either of these guys. Are we going to be able... Here's the thing. I probably can't get a straight shot. The Shadowhawk's gonna move. So, you know what? Let's hit with everything we got in the Shadowhawk. We're not gonna be guarded, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Behemoth has a ton of HP. And by HP, I mean armor. And you're gonna move out, and so then I'm gonna be able to hit with Glitch and everyone else and just murder your life. Okay. You, you did nothing, which is what I was hoping for. Yeah, that plus three evasion made a huge difference. So then, now that you're no longer guarded, we can pretty much just wreck your life. Maybe blow up his torso? Can I one-hit you? That's 192. We do 
60, 85, 195. We'd have to be really freaking accurate. So probably just gonna do the damage then and let me finish off again. Let's get the double evasion going. This also puts us covering from the other one. I'm gonna close the door real quick while you're moving. <sighs> okay, we're still back and then let's take a shot here and we're just gonna fire. Destroyed his red arm, that's good. We are also about to knock him over, so Decker's going to take care of that. And then I'll finish him off. We could move up and potentially get the AC-20 shot. Yeah, you know what, let's get the AC-20 shot. We might be able to get a kill here. Then I can focus on the other guy, but we'll see. Either way, we missed. We are knocking him over though. Dude, all those chest shots, love it. So, fall over please. And what's nice about this is we're going to not have to waste morale precision striking this guy, so. Okay, so you are at one injury, I think, right now. I think I'm gonna keep you where you are. And you have like no HP, so. Ammo's fine. We maybe not want to waste all our ammo right now. Like, I may just want to switch to missiles for the time being. Or, sorry, lasers for the time being. Because um, there might be a ton more mechs still. If there's four mechs and vehicles at every single location, that's going to be uh, a bit long of a fight. Okay, Jenner, what are you going to do? I think I'm just going to walk up and punch you, by the way. Don't punch me. Don't punch me. Yeah, it did a little bit of damage. But yeah, I'm just gonna punch you to death because that's gonna save ammo. <laughs> uh, so, a behemoth, punch. This might get a straight kill too. No. But it did hurt the crap out of him. Can glitch punch? No, dang it. Err. I think I'm going to keep my AC-20 saved. I don't know. Let's see. I might just be able to one-hit him with this AC-20. If I can just one-hit him with it, that's fine. Uh, yeah, we can definitely one-hit you. So let's just do that. I'm not going to use my SRM-6. We hit the right freaking torso with it. Ugh. Well, that's unfortunate. So in that case, I'm going to preserve our missiles with Decker. What's up, boss? On the move. And probably because I have more ammo for the Goss, I don't really want to waste the ammo if I don't have to. So let's just sensor lock you. Got a lock. He is going to move. So maybe I should have, you know, I should have waited a turn because he might actually be able to go and I might be able to shoot at him. I might multi shoot this. We'll see. I got a lot of medium lasers right now. Can I just finish you off? You're at 10 HP. Yeah, we're gonna multi-target. So I'm gonna shoot you here, I'm gonna shoot you there. I'm gonna put you on B, I'm gonna turn you off. I'm gonna turn you off. Hopefully between three of these shots, I hit his chest. Nope, I missed his chest with all three. <sighs> Wonderful. <laughs> Dang it, game. Oh. This is why you should always take the strike when you have it. The shot when you, the precision strike. Destroy it before, oh! There's a timer, I thought they were gonna shoot at it. That makes more sense. I'm gonna glitch step on you. Cause I think I'm gonna use Behemoth to get the other kill. Please murder. Thank you. Trying to save ammo here, okay? Can you stop being so mean at me and telling me to do things? Just like, no, just like, give me a freaking second here. All right, so we're gonna move up here. And I should be able to pre precision strike murder you. Do I have to actually move in there? That would be a problem. I think I just have to kill the units. So precision strike, you should be dead. Yeah, I shouldn't have wasted the missiles. Defusal's a go, Commander Rhett. Nicely done, Commander. The storage silo is ours. I'm marking an evac 
exact zone on your map. Whenever you're ready, you may proceed there for extraction. Can we just go? <laughs> Forget the rest of the mission. I don't really care. Uh, that's fine. We'll keep going. So let's um, let's move up here. I think we're gonna go this way. Don't need to tell me twice. You can jump over here. Hell yeah. Whirlwind. Shoot, we got contact. Remember, they can't see us though, so we can sit here for as long as we need uh, until we're ready to actually fight this. So we do unfortunately have to deal with um, the initiative bar. Jumping you up here because I'm trying to get you guys in a forward position. Because remember, we do want to we do want to get our freaking butt up here. Uh, Roger. I hope he can actually walk through up here. It looks like he can. I think she's just... I think I put her in a bad spot, so she's just guarding right now. They also what shouldn't be able to see me yet, which means we can wait a couple extra turns, so we should be fine to do this. This isn't going to waste any time or anything. And then he's not going to move because he doesn't know that I'm here. So we'll jump you up here. Probably move up till they see me and then start shooting. That's my thought. Yeah, they don't know I'm here. Okay. Good, 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 good. So let's move you. I'll get you here, then I can immediately take a shot. Does it add 10 heat? I'm going to move over here instead. And I'm going to try getting my units in position. Here's my thinking. Glitch is going to take, like, Glitch wouldn't be able to shoot this turn. Which is probably okay, because I would just sensor lock with her, but I think I'd rather spend an extra turn getting her in position. Because then we can come out next turn and hopefully get two kills in one. Then I don't have to waste her sensor lock. That's kind of the goal. Waiting for orders. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I just don't want them close enough that they spot me. She's, uh, Kamea's probably going to start yelling at me here in a second, but I think we're okay. She did not yell at me yet. We're going to jump right here. <laughs> Hopefully they don't look and see the giant mech flying over the hill. <laughs> By the way, it's one of the coolest looking mechs in the game. I love it. All right, it's time to go. So, Behemoth first. I'm going to grab Vigilance because she's going to be my front line. Just so we can get the guarded. I know I have a limited time. I do see all four. That's fine. We're going to confirm. What do we want to... Uh, LRM carrier is probably the most dangerous out there. He's going to be so easy to murder, though. I can't multi-target. This should get a kill. Roger that. I thought about precision striking, but I'm like, this should get a kill. Yeah, okay. We're shooting enough damage at this, and it doesn't have that much armor. That should get a kill without me having to waste the precision strike. So instead, what we can do... Ooh. Ooh. Can I get you in a spot to... I can get you in a spot to AC-20. That locust is nothing. <laughs> He's going to tickle me. So if I'm going to kill anything, let's kill this other guy. Uh, the trebuchet. Because he's going to have a little more damage. We could precision strike. I think I'd rather just do the damage. Okay. Glitch. I think we can knock you over. Between the AC-20 and the SRM-6, this might knock you over. We could also focus his legs down. What's your chest at? Probably not enough to live through my full barrage. I think I'd rather do damage, though, to the chest. Because I think I can knock him over. Yeah, that SRM-6 is going to knock him over. Nope, it did not. Balls. Yeah. It sucks. It's not the end of the world. <sighs> Let's see. We got five rounds to kill. Three more units. 
you have uh, 120 HP. We do 150, uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, so two something, plus another 12, 24, 36, 48, 60. We do a lot of damage. <laughs> we do a whole hell of a lot of damage. It's a bit of a waste. I think we got the kill here. Yeah, we should be okay. We did not. What? Oh, he's got like 5 HP on this chest. Just watch. I guarantee you. I don't think our missiles hit as often as we would like. I think that's what ended up happening. Locust is going to come take a shot at me. He's going to get instantly AC20'd. So. I should probably have kept Decker back a little bit. You shot at Grasshopper. Damage is light. Really? You have two other mechs right there that have vision. Commander. Okay. Fucking 14. <laughs> we did call it. I'm gonna turn off the large laser because I don't think it's necessary. I literally need to hit with one of these. Okay, I thought we missed there for a second and I was a little scared. Down. But we good. We good. Let's do this. Ooh, that looked like a headshot, but I didn't take the damage, so. Ow. Yeah, I did. Dang it. <laughs> uh, I know, it's my fault. I could have gotten the mod. Uh. Good to go. Glitch. I need you to murder this guy, please. I can't actually get down this hill. Uh, okay. What's our heat? Probably fine. Taking the high road. Probably fine. We don't have a great odd on this. 80 damage. We do that, we're up to 85%. I have, so essentially a 54% chance to hit his chest. Good. I did call that. I did say that was going to happen. That he was going to immediately get AC20 to death. He got really bad, but you're fine. Good to go. Um, I guess we have to sensor lock, which is unfortunate. What are you looking at? What are we looking at? Centurion. Centurion's heavy, isn't it? Green is whirlwind, which reduces damage. He won't be able to see me over here, so screw it. Moving to position. I'll lower my heat too. He's gonna run at me, so I don't really need to worry about running at him. But I will move me forward. Yeah, I thought I was gonna be able to get a shot on. Although, why did our sensor lock go away? Yeah, what happened to our sensor lock? I find that weird. You are a medium mech, actually. So remember, uh, 75 plus 20, 40, 60, 80 is probably not enough. No, it's not. It's 25 short. Hit his legs. Dude. Nasty stability damage, dude. He did not get to go first. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring Glitch down. That's going to give me vision. I was actually planning on using Glitch to sensor lock. But what we're going to do, actually, since you're going to stand there, is I'm going to shoot at your leg. Blow this up. We only have five shots. <sighs> Dang. 60, 85 damage. 81 damage. Okay, here's the thing. That leaves me four ammo for four mechs. We missed. Dang it. Oh. Crap. I didn't overheat you, did I? I don't think I did. No. No, you're fine. I got scared there. Got it. Well, we're going to knock him over. That's for sure. Problem is how much um, resources I'm wasting. God dang it, so freaking close, dude. 
This might straight knock him over. I don't know how much you can do to knock him over in one round. Nope, didn't do enough. Behemoth, we're actually going to reserve because I do more stability damage and then Behemoth can come get the kill. Ammo is... Ugh. We're going to have five more shots with our LRMs. I think we missed with the Goss. Okay, we got the knockdown. Good, 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 good. Almost looked like we were going to miss it there for a second. So that gets rid of your uh, armor or your uh, guarded stance, which means Behemoth should be able to come get the kill. We can't hit because you're kind of in the wrong direction. We can jump up. Yeah, that's what we want. Whee! Here's the one advantage of the grasshopper. <laughs> uh, okay, so probably do everything. And right at your chest. So 183 damage. 70. I need to just write these down. I just need a sticky note that tells me max damage for everyone. So anyways, uh, 70 uh, plus 75 is going to be 145 plus 5, 10, 15, 20. So 165. He has 183. So I cannot do enough damage to murder him. So I think we blow up his weaponry then. Large laser, small laser, heat sink, heat sink. We could focus his chest. He was on a medium mech, so he's going to be on the heavy mech tier, which means he's still going to get up before me. So, sure. Because here's what I'm thinking. That's two injuries right there. He's going to stand up. I'm going to target his legs. Three injuries. Although I can't really target his legs, can I? But No, wait. Why do I get to go first? Eh. Uh, uh, what? Well, dang, I should have freaking gone for his arm chest then. Because I could have finished you off here. Well, all my guys are going to get to go before him. So 25, 60 is 85 damage. That'll put him in the red. Got it. Yeah, we know. We're quite aware. I could move you up and kill you with the AC-20. That actually seems like maybe our best idea right now. No, we can't. We can't get you close enough for the AC-20. You're going to shoot 25 missiles. That's going to leave me over 200. Yeah, fine. We should probably... Why aren't we just using Behemoth? She doesn't use anything. Whatever. So, all right. We got the second guy. Good, good, good. How long have we been going? We're at 28 minutes. Okay, I think we have enough time to do the third one. All right, cool. I want you guys to move forward, and you're going to uh, basically just rest for a little bit so we can get our heat down. We've taken, like, 50 damage this entire time. So, yeah. We're doing fine there. Storage silo. Looks like we want to come from this direction. So let's swing all the way up here. Let's be quicker if we jump. So and then move you around. The um, the explosive ones, we don't really have to worry about, even though it's still giving me a warning. But this is going to lower everyone's heat, too. So. That's why I'd rather not run through the radiation storm right now, because we're trying to lose heat. I don't know if you lose heat. I imagine you lose a bunch of heat and then gain 10 more heat. I think that's how that would work. Unfortunately, we're still going to freaking be out uh, with Behemoth, or Behemoth's going to be out for a couple turns, a couple days. Just a single injury, though, which isn't too terrible. I, copy. I know I shouldn't be jumping because I'm trying to get your heat down, but whatever. By the time we get there, our heat's going to be at nothing. All right, let's catch up with me. Roger. Venting heat and, stay and we'll let everyone else Confirm. Holding. hang out for a turn. Okay, you can come over here, put you here. I'm actually surprised how much Glitch can move now because she used to be the slowest. Moving we out. did give her the extra level in 
evasion, I guess, right? And that's maybe why. Okay, so it's down south here. So this is kind of where we want to go. Uh, so we'll move me first just to get a distance on how long we want to move everyone else or how far. You can come up here. You can come over here. Get everyone in position. And we probably want to wait another turn to let me catch up because I'm a little far away. <laughs> uh, why am I always in the way? Or why am I always so freaking slow? We'll come down here through the water. The funny thing is, like, I like moving with the other guys and getting, like, the max sprint. And we don't always get that if we're waiting for me. Roger. We're only getting, like, three and two sprint right now as opposed to, like, the, you know, five and six we can get normally. All right, where are these guys at? Okay. So I think here is going to be fine. Was that a sprint? That was a sprint. No, that wasn't. Standing by. I'm actually going to reserve you guys because I want me to go. I want myself to get up here. This will not give me vision. Full throttle. Full throttle. But it will put me in position that next turn I can probably move up and get a shot off. This is an interesting mission. I will say they did a, they've done a very good job of varying these missions. Not no two mission like priority missions at least are uh, that similar. So I might take glitch to the right. Is there a downside to it? Not really. It almost seems. Waiting for orders. Eh. Eh. And let's just come here. We're right here. Let's just finish it. Okay. So this next turn, we are gonna go hot. I'm pretty sure. Depends on who can get a shot. I hear ya. All right. If she can get a shot, anyone else can get a shot. So we'll move up with her. We only have four AC twenties left, so we definitely want to make sure we're gonna get a hit on this. They detected. Yep, yep, yep. The blackjack. We can't really hit the chest on. And if I'm going to shoot, I want to get a straight kill. Well, remember, they're all defending right now, so we can't really get a shot. If I AC 20 this SRM carry, he's dead. Everything else is wasted. Now, I think I'm just going to shoot at the Griffin and hope we hit the chest. Wait, why am I calling the shot? Oh, because I hit precision strike. Whoopsie. Yeah, no, no. We're going to hold off on precision striking. Can I just blow up the freaking missile silo? <laughs> Be done with it. Ah, uh, we hit the freaking left arm. Of all things to hit, that left arm was probably the one thing I didn't want to hit. But, okay. That's fine. So, I guess we're going for you. What are you? A commando. <laughs> like, that's kind of hilarious. You're really cute. The fact that you're bringing a commando and a locust to fight me. Knock over. Ooh, unsteady. Okay. That's actually... Ah, he's a defender. Never mind. We'll put you back over here. Hide you. On my way. Hide you in your 800 armor. Behemoth. You. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna vigilance with her. I'm putting her furthest forward so she can draw the attention. And then I'm vigilancing so that she hopefully, uh, when she gets shot at, she's not, they're not going to do that much damage. So this will knock you over. Well, those like three missiles shot at the end <laughs> are going to knock you over. And then that means I'm going to finish you off with me because you just lost your guarded. I don't know if we did enough damage on his chest. So maybe I should have focused his chest down. Yeah, looking at that, I should have focused his chest down. Because I could knock him. I didn't realize I was going to do enough damage that that we would knock him over. Because usually if they're guarded like that, you can't quite do enough stability damage. Had I known that, because I'm calling right here. Well, you're going to die anyways. It doesn't matter. Never mind. Structure exposed. There we go. 
I was like, unless I get very unlucky, which it's starting to look like, but no, no, we're fine. Oh, so I left that SRM carrier alive. That's the downside of this. But that was his most dangerous mech over here, and we just murdered it in one turn. Yeah, I think we're fine. <laughs> okay, so this commando is going to get AC 20'd hard. Dude, seriously? Really? Two medium lasers and like a SRM two or four, whatever that was. Commander. Like, that's just cute. We're gonna get guarded because we're staying the same spot. I think we can actually get a kill here with this. Giving him everything I've got. Boom. Uh, remember when like fighting commandos was hard? I don't want to say it was hard, but you know, it took a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's so disappointing how easy they die. So that AC-20 now is going to murder that vehicle. You shot the grasshopper, but she was guarded, so that's fine. And since you just shot, what can I do you're going to die in a very bad way. Um... I think I have to jump so I can get the shot over here. Yeah. We're just gonna AC-20 you. And then uh, between me and Decker, we should have no problem with you. So an AC-20 right here is straight up murders you. Yeah, as long as I hit the AC-20 anywhere, 95% chance you're dead. So I don't know why I wasted my other missiles, but it didn't really matter. <laughs> so I now have me and Decker to kill this other guy. I think we're good. I think we're good, man. I think we I think we succeeded in this mission. Don't want to move you up here with the AC-20 shot? I can't. I copy. Hopefully no one tries blocking my escape. Only because I don't really want to spend the time. Copy that. But anyways, like I mentioned before, I really think we are an okay spot for um, these missions. Like, should we shoot you? 75? Yeah, we're on precision strike. Um, but anyways, like, I really do feel like we're strong enough just to win the rest of these missions. Structure exposed. That's 25, 55, 75, it did. Okay. Well, that was easy. Literally, that first fight was the hardest one. Only because we started shooting a little early. Once we just, like, let them take one shot at us, we had no problem. Are you really making me get to the evac zone? Are you really making me get to the evac zone? <sighs> I hate you. I just want you to know that. How can we get down this hill, man? How's Decker going to get down this hill? I guess Decker's going to go this way. And we'll put you over this way with Decker. Just in case. Man, so now we're gonna have to wait 10 minutes to freaking get to the uh, evac zone. Ugh. There might be other vehicles out and about then. The fact that we're not immediately leaving the mission means there probably is other units. Uh huh. We spotted someone? Because I can't move. Order. I, I can't move. What? Good to go. That was weird. I just couldn't move for some reason. Okay, so hopefully we don't put him in an awkward spot because he doesn't have jump jets, so hopefully he can get down this hill. <laughs> uh, that's our only concern at this point. And then you guys just keep moving on up. This looks like a road, so we're moving a little quicker on it. I can't move you for some reason again. And then you're going to come over here and get on this road too. All right. So the two quickest are taking the longest route to get there, but that's fine. Because they immediately caught up to the two slowest. So yeah, this mission went well. I hate the freaking head injuries, but you know. The funny thing is, early on, they were more annoying because I only had like, what, three HP on my people? And getting shot in the head was, you know, a third of their HP. Now with the five, six HP, it's like, I'm not really worried about them dying. Because they would literally have to start blowing up my mechs. And at this point, no one's really going to mess with my mechs. I wonder if the last mission is going to be as annoying as the XCOM 2 last mission. Where, hey, you're pretty much going to lose everyone. And hopefully you can just barely survive. 
Because we're going to have 6,000 waves of people come at you. I don't know. Hopefully it's not going to be like that because we don't have that much ammo on our units. Uh, we probably should just... And I'm just assuming right now that it's going to have a ton of units because usually the last missions are like that. But we might want to be very conservative with our stuff. Kind of like what we didn't do with this one. We ended up having enough ammo, but if we had another wave, we would have been a little short. Extracted. Goodbye. <sighs> Thank you for making me do that. Uh, thanks to you, the director has suffered a major setback. We gained a valuable new asset. Yeah, three cheers. If you excuse us, Lady Arana, we need to get these mechs hosed down and decontaminated. Decontaminated. Come on, Commander. Uh, Yang's got a great big tub of Barone, and he's just dying to use it. All right. I'm assuming because of all the radiation on the planet. Or the dust. Probably the dust. Yeah, there wasn't that much radiation. So, increased by 75%. We made 2.4 million off of that. Cool. Mercenary Review Board's about to get to 3 star. And then, no damage, basically, other than uh, head damage. So, nice XP, though. 2,400. Kills mostly me and Behemoth. I'm actually surprised with how much Behemoth got. Can we grab a mech? We can grab you. And then we have enough to grab another one if we have two scraps. But we don't. Well, what weapons do you have? LRM 20 plus plus. I like. I don't think I need another medium laser plus plus. I really don't. Heat sinks. SRM 6 plus plus. We already have you. Lots of ammo. Let's grab another mech salvage. Uh, you're only 25 tons. You're 55 tons. So sure. Go there. And then what are you going to give me? AC2, AC5? Ugh. Uh, LRM20, LRM5, jump jets, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that works. Only 4 million, which is kind of hilarious about this. Like, that tells you how easy the mission was. We only made 4 million in scrap. Like, recently we've been making 7, 8 million in scrap, so that's kind of hilarious. We didn't fig... Did we get a mech? Yeah, we got the Sasada, right? Actually, I don't know if we had one of those guys before. Doesn't matter. How's Gallus Restored achievement unlocked? Okay. Uh, Lady Arano, after almost two years of directorate imprisonment, I nearly lost hope. For myself, from a Trom, and for the entire Regan Reach. Uh, I owe you my internal gratitude, all of you, because your actions directed told on Itrum has been broken, my people have been saved. Uh, I've been fighting for the Regan Coalition for most of my adult life. Lady Gallus, saving your people comes with the territory. I uh, thank you for it all the same. I'm going to be honest with you, Lady Gallus. I had to wait through a sea of blood to reach Itrom. My army is war weary, outgunned, and the reach is on the verge of being overrun. Our continued survival is anything but certain. So if you have information that could hurt the Directorate, I need you to share it with me. Yes, Lady Arano, I can help you. I know where you can find what you need to break the Directorate's alliance with the Tertarian Concordant. Uh, Concordant. You need to travel to Goldra. Lord Madria's home system? Interesting. So is this final mission then? That's right. If you search the Madria archives, you'll find what you need. Over the past three years, House Madria has collected a treasure trove of incre... Oh no, House Espinoza, is it? Uh, uh, of incriminating evidence on House Espinoza and insurance policy, so to speak. Find it and deliver it to Protectorate Cauldron and our Torrin problem will be over. Okay. The archives are DNA locked to my family. Oh, he's Madria. If we're going to gain access to this insurance, I'll need to travel there myself. Hopefully not at the head of the army. You've seen what war has done to Itram. I pray that Goldra can be spared of the same fate. Alexander, I... A thunderous roar cuts Lady Gallus sentence short, and the image on your view screen cuts to nothing. Oh, well, she died. Cool. Uh, sensors are picking up evidence of a massive fuel air explosion in the capital. Castle Gallus is gone. They must have planted a bomb before we drove him away. Yet another mass murder to hold him accountable for. Yep. Vengeance comes later. What? I, th I was just saying he's going to be held accountable. That wasn't vengeance. Jeez. Alexander, get emergency services to the capital. Medical teams, combat engineers, wherever you can find. Yep. I'll dispatch forces right away, but then I must return home. I'll travel with the appropriate bodyguard, but otherwise I need to go alone. Lady Gallus was right. We lost too much. I won't see the army move on Goldra. Uh, now if I can do it myself. It seems dangerous. I can't afford to lose you. Come here, please. I'm duty-bound to see this through. Let Arzul go with you. Goldra is a core system, a venerable fortress. If we attempt an invasion, there will be a terrible loss on both sides. I won't allow that. Not if I can achieve the goal another way. And I'm confident that I can accomplish through uh, subterfuge what our army could not recover the evidence we need without bloodshed. I'm your loyal servant. I've always been, but I'm also Madria, and I have a responsibility to protect it. You, of all people, should understand that. You should be the one to deal with them. Had to break it to you, but the Argo isn't that safe either. Yeah, let him deal with it. 
Yes, you should. And as much as I hate, I understand. Very well, my friend. Go away. Uh, cool. Now you know how I feel every time you insist on leading a combat mission. Not a good feeling, is it? Go, get us the leverage we need. We'll hold the line against Turians for as long as we can. All right. I know you. we can win this, Camille. We will all win this. You damn right. We'll make sure of it. I'll make sure of it. You heard the commander back to your stations. We got a war to win. Sweet. Well, that was a fun mission. Uh, Sasada is slightly slower than 2A, but has more room for weaponry and armor. Cool. Well, we're going to immediately sell that. So anything else we need to do? Behemoth's out for 11 days. I don't think we have a contract. Yeah, we're going to have to wait for him to come back. So uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to spend a couple episodes doing these side missions before we can get the next priority mission. But for now, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you do. Uh, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.